But for probably the 99% of people of even my own audience who haven't seen that video, um, essentially what happened is Spike TV, uh, a, a channel which was known for the most intellectual and, uh, you know, educational <laughs> content in the 2000s, yes. um, in its heyday in 2011, it, it had a pilot episode for a series called Alternate History. Like that was it. It was just it's just alternate history, the most boring name you could possibly call it. Um, and I even make a joke in the video that's like having a show on Animal Planet and you just call it Animal. Um, but basically <laughs> what they did is they did the the try and true classic alternate history topic, which is just uh, what if the Nazis won World War Two? You know, that's the bread and butter man in the high castle did it. Wolfenstein. That's kind of like the first thought in your mind is, you know, the Nazis winning World War Two. Uh, can we talk what exactly can i talk about just so this uh this podcast doesn't get like flagged or anything like that is there is there like a, a type oh, anything of thing? we don't know we don't care and we'll talk about flagging and demonetization later but let's just go full bore on on okay. nazi talk or okay. whatever you want to see <laughs> okay I'm not, okay so this it was a heavy it was a strangely heavy episode i mean because of course we're talking about you know nazis winning and stuff but it was also just incredibly stupid uh just the way that they they filmed everything it was like if ancient aliens tried to talk about a serious topic which ancient aliens has tried to do many times and fell flat on their face doing but uh this was like if the ancient aliens people created a show about alternate history uh and they had little fascinating recreations uh they had the Okay, so basically to set the scene, it the show begins in an alternate like 2011 where a president is being sworn in. Uh, but because it's alternate history and, you know, the Nazis won World War II, it's not actually the president. It's the next Fuhrer. The Fuhrer is getting sworn in. Um, and he, uh, you know, he does the whole Zeke Howell and stuff like that. And. Uh, and then the flag unfurls and, you know, because the Nazis took over, there's a swastika where the stars and stripes should be um, very edgy, very edgy. <laughs> um, and, you know, he's saying some bad, you know, gamer stuff. And uh, in the crowd <laughs> in in the crowd, there are Secret Service guys with iPads. And it sounds fake me describing it, but basically they have their iPads and the show saying that Nazis will use 21st century technology to be oppressive. And the way that they illustrate this is by showing a guy looking at an iPad and a star of David shows up on the screen of this Google Maps thing. Oh. And it's like it's a Jew tracker. And and then they go and they just beat up this guy. And I'm like, oh, that's the type of that's the type of show this is. Uh, and it's it's blatant. It's just it's 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 fucked up and it kind of it. But it, it's like in a in a kind of comedic sort of way and just how little they thought of it. You know, they thought this mm -hmm. is our pilot episode for a series about alternate history. And they uh, they they went about it with the grace of a rhino tripping downstairs um but uh <laughs> it continues it's, it's it, hard to do though oh it is it's i mean it's, it's hard to do um it, like you've got you've got to have a really in-depth knowledge and, and this was one of the points in the intro and it's something that that it really is what makes makes your channel stand out is that so many of the attempts to do content like you do to do a show like the spike tv show is really surface level knowledge yeah you know it'll it'll be somebody uh with uh really the extent of like a wikipedia summary then playing with a very complex idea and that's probably mm. what happened uh with this show is that the people doing it they, they didn't they didn't start with any real depth and so when they thought okay what could this look like in 2011 or whenever it was it's let's have an ipad that's a jew tracker uh <laughs> yeah you, you can't you can't do better than that when you don't have a really deep knowledge of it. And people in the episode chat are talking about old shows, things like Adam ruins everything. And, and uh, you know, some of the, the shows that play with, with ideas like mm -hmm. that. And one of the themes seems to be that uh, the people writing and vetting are not coming from a very knowledgeable place. And as a result, the content is just very weak. I, I think the word, uh, the best word to describe this is misconceptions. 
Uh, and I'm glad you you talked about Adam ruins everything because that's the same exact way to describe it is is misconceptions. They talk about it as if uh, it's what they you know, it's as if it's they're experts on it when in actuality, it's yeah. just the common knowledge that everyone just kind of didn't uh, kind of just collectively agreed on and never actually did any research on. Uh, for example, uh, like this alternate history show, they said that the the Nazis nuke new york um and that's always a common uh idea is that the the nazis and germans were only like a month or a, f- a year away from inventing a nuclear bomb and winning the war and stuff like that they weren't like they weren't at all their own uh their own mis their own ideas about physics and everything like that uh pretty much came back and bit them in the ass and it was the reason why uh, why all of their scientists ended up fleeing to the United States because the Nazis believed that atomic science was Jewish science. So they were never going to get the bomb. But this show said, oh, no, they were not only going to get the bomb, they were going to invent jet planes and they were going to use jet planes to win D-Day. So there's um, <laughs> there's recreations and stuff, uh, you know, in 2011 uh, TV budget uh cgi of 1940s jet planes just taking out allied troops on d-day and somehow that allows the germans to win the war and (laughs) and that's kind of you know there's no soviets there's no soviet union at all involved in this scenario it's purely america it's purely the british and uh if they lose in d-day you know that's it that can't we go home everybody germans won we can't do anything. And so they only read a portion of the Wikipedia article. They didn't even get through the whole thing. Oh yeah, they skimmed it. They did the they did the okay. little Spark Notes version, and then their computer exploded. <laughs> um, and and they're kind of like it was like a second screen Spark Notes. They weren't. They were like watching Netflix or something while doing it. Uh, <laughs> the summary that uh, no no no, it's a summary that that you get when you don't pay for the full subscription to Spark Notes. You know, and it's like the. <laughs> It cuts off after two paragraphs. <laughs> say, That's good enough. <laughs> I'm they, not paying for the rest of this. They, they, we can get a pilot out of this. They learned their history from History Channel at like 2 a.m. And they got it like in between the, oh, yeah, this was, you know, Hitler did this. They would have done that. And then they and then they went and watched Spike TV. It's Spike TV. You're not going to get the, the most craziest education. Um, but yeah, this whole just to put it in that picture. Uh, This whole episode was just kind of that. It was the most general misconceptions you have about World War II at all. And then they just put that into this whole scenario. So it's uh, the United States has just been completely conquered by Germany. And now it's the modern day and everyone's racist. That's that's essentially all it is. And uh, the funniest thing that they had was they used it to talk about uh surveillance and internet technology and it was unique because since this was in 2011 there are two different things going on the rise of social media and the arab spring and this thing was produced in like the span of probably four months four to five months and it was oddly optimistic about the arab spring it used it as a basis for saying that the american people would you know they'd rise up and they'd defeat the nazis and stuff like that and then at the end you know they got tiananmen squared but uh it was it was still they used the arab spring which was going along in 2011 before that descended into the syrian civil war and stuff like that as sort of this guiding light like look how social media brings on revolutions uh and then that brings me to my other point social media uh they did the worst possible thing you can do in alternate history, and it's just simply transplant imagery that we're familiar with, but mix it up. So Facebook still existed in this in this show. Uh, they called it Fash Page. Uh, Google. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, go- which you know, maybe this thing, but Google was uh, renamed Goebbels, which they didn't even oh, try. They didn't even try. On. Oh yeah, it's, it was real bad. Uh, Wikipedia was just called Nazi Almanac. 
that's it. They didn't even, they gave up there. They just said, oh yeah, it's Nazi almanac. There's no pun? There's no Wikipedia yeah, slash? There, there was no pun. Google had Goebbels and then there was Fash page and, uh, yeah. and then Nazi almanac. I don't know. Maybe there it was too late at night and they were just bored. They were like, eh, this isn't, nobody's going to see this anyway. Just <laughs> nobody cares. Yeah, nobody cares. This There's one of the, I, I heard the benefits of, <laughs> yeah, to you, I'm sorry. One of the benefits of, of being uh, part of the live show here is that I've just pasted an episode chat that fashpage.com is available. Oh. So the people who are listening, they're going to hear this a week from now or five days from now, whatever it is. It's going to be too late. Fashpage will be uh, will be taken. You'll have missed the boat. And if you'd been an episode chat, you could be registering that at GoDaddy right now. <laughs> it's true. Facebook, once they uh, fail this whole meta thing, maybe they'll even go back on it and, you know, they'll pay you a few million dollars to use that domain. <laughs> Who knows? Mm-hmm. Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, this uh, the, to to wrap this whole thing up. Uh, it was it was a very very horrible first pilot episode, and of course it was so bad the the series was never made again. They never had another episode, and they had a few ideas even in the intro. They had like uh, questions, like what if questions, flying at the viewer like it was a uh, in Star Wars. And it was like, what if the meteor didn't kill the dinosaurs? What if uh, the South won the Civil War, which that would have been another interesting episode. Let me tell you that. But uh, yeah, it was just sort of stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, no, it was so bad. They never made another episode. And the only reason I remember it is because I was in high school and I watched it live and they never aired it again. And so I, I almost thought like a few years later, did this show exist? And I didn't know it. I, you know, I wasn't thinking so vaguely. And I was able to find a 480p rip, uh, like going through Google and it was on like the eighth search result. And there was just a, a pilot episode on streamable and I had to download it. But yeah, this thing was gone from all the records. It was almost lost media. And I'm, I'm just glad that I ma- was able to make a video about this horrible horrible show and forever preserve it in history because <laughs> spike tv itself is even gone now but uh you know their legacy lives on yeah. 